Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And uh, in this one, I really wanted to talk about how at this point, I feel that the beta is basically the last chance for Black Ops 4 to win people over because there's a lot of people already before even getting their hands on the game. Uh, and in that aspect, it's, it's kind of a, a little bit wrong, but pretty much also the thing is you have to remember... Uh, before getting our hands on the game, a lot of people are already bailing out on Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which I totally, totally get. And and I am actually, or uh, was a uh, a person who not too long ago decided to do it. And then I decided to kind of backtrack and maybe I just went a little bit too ahead of myself and let my passion get the best of me as, as I described in previous videos. Um, So I wanted to give this, the game a fair shot, but I feel that... As we get closer and closer to beta, which is gonna, which is about a month or so away from now, um, give or take, um, it really is the last shot for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 to win back fans. A lot of people have bailed already due to the uh, financial decisions that Activision has been making on their part in the terms of how they're going to handle DLC and all that, all those other political decisions in uh, in between and everything. So. Uh, a lot of fans have backed out, and I feel that for whatever's left of us, their last chance to salvage whatever's left of us is basically um, is going to be the beta. And they have a lot. This beta is going to be huge. Uh, they have a lot of work to do in terms of now. First of all, you guys have to understand that this is going to be probably if the rumors are true, which I believe they are, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. If the rumors that Black Out is going to be in the Black Ops 4 beta. As well as the regular multiplayer of the of the maps and the footage that we've already seen, um, it makes all sense in the world because we haven't seen anything from it yet, and all we know is of the very little information that we have about Blackout as it is. Everything else has been pretty much speculating. Um, so, and it's going to be a very big uh, a very big part of the beta, and it's going to be the make or break. And the way it seems, in terms of the way they're developing this game as well, is that the blackout mode is going to be the casual part of the game in terms of the multiplayer, and the multiplayer itself is all going to be competitive in terms of the way they seem to be design it, designing it. Now, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, I hope the only super-duper competitive part is going to be league play, um, and the regular traditional multiplayer, let that be the way it's always been. But at the same time, with the way they're designing it, uh, I have a lot of doubts, and I'm not the only one. But um, Blackout is either going to be a hit or miss. Uh, I don't think it, there's going to be an in-between. I mean, in theory, there very much could be an in-between. But this, uh, in theory, long story short, this could be a really great first-person shooter battle royale. It's going to be one of the first of its kind. I mean, Battlefield is uh, set to follow uh, a similar pattern, but putting their own spin on it as well. There's going to be so many different kinds of implementations of Battle Royale now. Hell, even Red Dead 2 is said to have it as well. And even, I think, Crackdown, I think I heard I heard of that as well. So uh, this is going to be the beginning of, of Battle Royale, just really just trying to gather as much people from that fan base as possible. And Black Ops 4, the Black Ops 4 beta is going to be the start of it all. And it's, it's either going to help make the game or break it. And at the same time, we have to remember that the beta is not just, it's not just because of the Battle Royale and how much the developers have to put into this beta. But it's also the fact that, well, there's still your traditional and yet loyal Call of Duty fans. Granted, there aren't as many of us as there used to be. Um, I hate to say it, but it's the absolute truth. Uh, it, it is. And there aren't as many as uh, of us as there used to be. And for those of us that are still in it, we're holding on by a thread at this point. So, uh, there's that aspect as well. You gotta, you can't just pay attention to your to your pros or whatnot you got to pay attention to the quote-unquote filthy casuals because that in and of itself is an art that in and of itself is what brought you to where you're at and that has to be solid therefore that part of the game has to absolutely be solid and it cannot be neglected or ignored like the campaign and by the way speaking of campaign i just looked at charlie intel and uh uh, according to job descriptions or whatnot, it says that uh, the next game the in that's going to be made by Infinity Ward uh, is going to have the uh, Call of Duty. Uh, it's going to have a campaign, so I think a lot of fans should be happy and, and happy about that. Uh, as well as the fact that it is said that Infinite Warfare has ha actually has a very good campaign. 
uh, even though I haven't played it. I enjoy the Infinite Warfare multiplayer. I'm one of the few people that actually do. At first, I didn't, but I'm actually one of the few people that do. And uh, I'm sure that uh, in kind of uh, in preparation for, for some Black Ops 4 beta, I'm probably going to play some Infinite Warfare multiplayer just to get used to the basics. Um, I was originally planning on doing Modern Warfare 3, but uh, I can't see people. That is so weird. I guess I'm starting to really get old. <laughs> I can't see people. I always had a hard time seeing people in the game in the first place, but as of right now, since the game has gone backwards compatible, it's gotten worse. I can't, more than half the time, I can't see people. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> And uh, plus, I think, like, at least half the time, the gameplay's funny. It's like uh, you get melted instantly. I think it's because of the whole uh, backwards compatibility thing. Similar to what Black Ops 2 suffers, or suffered to a great extent, at least when it first got released, backwards compatibility. I mean, I seriously doubt that they, they patched anything up. I'm just saying, like, you know, it feels better on 360 than it does on the Xbox One. But uh, I think Modern Warfare 3 has a similar, similar, uh, similar effect. <laughs> But with that all being said, the Black Ops 4 beta is going to be absolutely huge in terms of whether or not it, the game is going to get a pass or a fail. In term, Not just in terms of sales, but in terms of, of gameplay as well. Because we have a lot to be speculative of uh, from all the things that we've seen from other people that have gotten a chance to go to the reveal and at E3 as well. So there's, there's, there's lots of question marks lurking. And... Um, in due time, we'll get answers to those questions, and uh, I really do believe that the very last chance, in terms of Black Ops 4 at least, is going to be the beta. So, from a development standpoint, I, I, I hope these guys got it right. I hope, uh, I hope the game is going to be fun as hell. I hope it's going to give us a good mixture of, of the previous Black Ops games in the series as well, put them all in together in a fun, fun way for us. And at the same time, I hope Battle Royale adds another layer to the uniqueness as opposed to, as opposed to like, let's say, um, taking away from what Call of Duty is at its core. So, but, I, but they've already described that they're doing it the Call of Duty way or the Black Ops way. So what exactly that means beyond description has yet to be seen. So uh, for me, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to try to keep an open mind as much as possible. Uh, I'm going to try as, as best as I can to ignore the bullshit that Activision is doing and just uh, pay 60 bucks for the game um, and just play it. And hopefully it'll last all year. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. What are your opinions on this? And um, that's it. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.